feel good being back in the hot seat, Mr. Burke? Look, Nikki did her best. It's Robert Payne from the Educational Department. Are you expected? Yeah, I'm here to see Michael Byrne and Lorraine Dunnett. Who's that? Oh, just oh Michael. Right, yeah. Can you see him? Ah. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, how are you? Good. Thank this you. Way. You're welcome. How are you this morning? I'm very good, how are you? Excellent. Good. Just uh, down here on the left. Can I get you a tea? Coffee? Ah, uh, tea, please. Lorraine not here yet? She'll be here, don't worry. You know, I'm still surprised she agreed to this takeover. Why would you invest all that money, then just walk away? That's multi-millionaires for you. <laughs> milk, sugar? Ah, just milk. Your sister in, yeah? Oh, uh, no, but she's just texted to ask me to bump your finance meeting to 10.30. Well, why didn't you call me? I just got a text. Well, when she does get here, tell her I need to see her immediately. And two teas when you get a second. Robert, I'm sorry. It looks like the rain's running a bit late this morning. I wondered if you could wait until maybe 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah, I've got a free morning. Uh, you could give me the tour. The committee still want me to cross the T's and dot the I's. Problem? Um, Robert Bain is here, Director of Education. I, uh, just something weird's going on, and I, I just thought you should know. Um, give me a call back when you get this message, and maybe just get into school. All right, wait. Lulu, starting early. Big day, miss. Trip to Knox Pharmaceuticals. Mm. How's things? Yeah, it's getting better. Ta-da! Are you really cooking tonight? Yeah. I thought you were joking. No, I, uh, I stole the recipe from uh, Chalky's Master Chef book. Tagalatelic Habanara. Ooh, aren't you a Yeah, yeah. No, it's a dynasty. You are. Dynasty! You've not been answering my calls. You've got no signal at your new gaff. Just leave it, Mum. I'm... We're trying to get on with our lives right now. Hey, hey, look. No, things haven't been easy, Lee. We just come home. We can put things right. Things are right. What with that little weed? Kevin's been there for me. What have you done, eh? You've stood by me. Believe me. I believe you too, babe. Of course I do. I'm here for you. But, you know, maybe if you hadn't turned you back on us, things might be a bit different. Meaning? Well, we would have protected you. What, and Kevin can't write? He's hardly on a Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I know. But he's mine, I love him. Come on, let's go inside. Oh, Dynasty, don't walk away, please. Come home. Look, I'm sorry, Mrs. Barry, but she's already got a home. This is you, this isn't Eddie. Turning my daughter against me. Hmm? You think you're better than everyone else, don't you? Looking down your nose, eh? With your fancy words. You haven't even said them, huh? You leave my daughter alone. Mom, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Mrs. Barry. But I've got nothing against you. It's obvious you think we're scum. Yeah. <gasps> oh, he's got egg on his face. Very mature. Mum, get lost! What have I done? Dynasty's happy, Mum. Can't you just leave her be? No. You're not going home. Barry, you've got to stop it. Go on, admit it. The rain's overcommitted. And running this place must make a hefty dent in the bank balance. Uh, would you excuse me for a second? Really busy. Let's see. Mr. Bain, I'd like a word, please, about my dynasty. Uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Barry, but we're rather busy this morning. Really? Well, that's a shame. After all my family have been through lately. You couldn't just. Squeeze me in later. I mean, I can wait. Promise I won't get in the way. Sonia, can we see if we can accommodate Mrs. Barry later on? Well, you're really busy. Sonia, that... any time this afternoon will be fine. And get Mrs. Barry a cup of tea for me, please. Look, instead of us hanging about, why don't we have this tour? OK. Miss, I couldn't sleep last night. I'm just so excited about getting into the Knox lab. I know how much you want to see the animals free again. Just remember, this is about raising awareness, showing what Knox is doing. I'm going to take my phone in so I can film inside. OK, I'll see you on the bus, miss. Lula, I'm not going. 
What? Well, they can't prosecute a child, but me. Knox would make sure I... I didn't teach again. The Barry's present a unique challenge, but thanks to the PRU, it's one we're more than happy to take on. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it in action. <laughs> What's going on in here? I thought I was showing you the PRU. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Apologies for the interruption, Mrs. Budgeon. Mr. Bain here was keen to see what you and the class were getting up to today. <laughs> Don't look too hard. I'm making it up as I go along. <laughs> Everybody, carry on with your shopping lists. But we're trialling a new initiative here today. Mrs Budgeon will use her extensive experience in the professional world to help with life skills. Wow, wow. Very, uh, holistic. <laughs> well, I couldn't believe it when Mr Byrne gave us a go-ahead. They never had anything like this in my day. We're using it as a bit of curriculum downtime for the sixth formers, really. I mean, this lot, right? There might be whiz kids on the internet, but you give them a budget and a house to run. Ah! Well, I think what you're doing is great. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. That's what a private sector does so well. Innovate. Hygiene with an I. I'm so excited. It's a trip to a pharmaceutical company, not Alton Towers. This trip is important. Why? Why? Casey, we need to make these people sit up and listen. And who are these people, Lula? Knox Pharmaceuticals. You should never shut up about them. And this relates to Cathy's views on love how, exactly? This means nothing. Why use this Emily Bronte when there are things going on out there that actually matter? OK. We need to have a little chat. Why? Outside, now, please. The rest of you, get on with your work, quietly. I was going to speak to you after the class. About what? But we thought about it, and after your poison pen letters last week, we can't possibly let you go on the trip. But I've said I'm sorry about that. Miss Donegan doesn't want any more trouble. She's only interested in how much money Knox can make for her. It's none of your business where Miss Donegan invests her money. The decision's been made, you won't be going. I've got Mrs Collins coming in to see you instead. No! I don't want to see a psychologist! This can't be happening. It can, and it is. Now back inside. Now! See, I think in Act One, Macbeth is a war hero. He's, he's brave, honourable. Good point, Kevin. And that is why Duncan came to visit in the first place. Yeah, but Macbeth uses the visit to bump Duncan off. <laughs> so you think Macbeth is a villain? Yeah. In scene three, it's Macbeth who starts thinking about murder. The witches never say, kill the king. But they say he will be king. It is his destiny. Yeah, but he could change that, though. Could he? Isn't that what the play is asking us? Is our fate set in stone, or do we choose our futures? It, but that's in the witch's prophecy. Yes. It can't yes, be Macbeth's yes. fault, P.I.U. Yes. Of course. It's fine. Uh, thank you, Miss Morgan. Thank you. Well done. So, what's happening with your new friend? Everyone's suspicious. We should talk. I thought maybe we could go out for lunch. I'll hold you to that. Go. He never takes her for lunch. Maybe he's got something important to say. Oh, she's been banging on about weddings since Miss McFalls. Well, since the additional support that we've struggled to sustain a referral unit. <laughs> Not something I'm proud of. Well, we'll be happy to be a beacon of excellence for other schools. Mm. It's just so rare to be handed a school that's doing so well that knows exactly where it's going. We've worked extremely hard to make a success of our PRU. And it shows. I can't wait to thank Lorraine. Shall we? Yeah. There's only one Year 12 Group 4 English literature, Mrs Barry. So? So? Dynasty and Kevin can't be separated if they're both doing the same subjects. 
They're teenagers. They shouldn't be joined at the hip. I'll let you get started this as soon as possible. The process is quite complicated, so I want to take my daughter out of this place. Mrs. Barry, you'll have to wait. No, I've waited long enough. You don't send your kids here. Ah, oh, well, actually, if mine were still young enough, I could think of nowhere better to send them. And from what Michael's told me, his school's worked wonders with yours. I won't believe everything you hear, Mr. Bain. And it's not his school. It's mine. I can't believe you haven't discussed this. Robert, look, I'm sorry. I just wanted you here to help explain to Lorraine our vision for the place. I have a plan for my school. Come on, Lorraine, this is your out. Work on an agreement with the LA. Robert's very impressed with what we're doing here. And that's down to our independence. Do you really need the grief? Mr. Bain, I'm sorry. Michael's clearly wasted your time. Yes, he has. And I don't appreciate being used, Michael. Robert, please. I'll make one observation. Schools fail not because of poor teachers or badly behaved pupils. They fail because of a lack of clear leadership and direction. And for what it's worth, I think Michael knows more about leading a school than anyone. Michael lives in a fantasy land where private money's dirty and infects everything. It's called the 70s, but I'm way too young to remember. Lorraine, can we just... Hey, did you get my voicemail? Can I help? Just get him away from me for starters. Lorraine, just listen to me. <sighs> give me a moment. What's happened? He wants me to give the school to the council. What's that? Don't pretend like you didn't know. Come on, my office. <sighs> Did you know? No, Mr. Clarkson just told me. Sorry, Lila. Can't you talk to Miss Stone again or something? It wouldn't be appropriate. You talk about saving animals. You talk about doing something to stop their pain. But as soon as it gets difficult, you back down. There are some wars that just can't be won. If Miss Donegan says you can't go, there's nothing I nor Mr. Clarkson could do about it. Talk. All I hear is talk. You know what? I don't need your talk. Shall I go in, Miss? Wait, uh, five minutes. I'll be right back. Okay. Quiet, listen up. We need everyone to be on their best behaviour at the lab, please. Remember, you are all ambassadors for Waterloo Road. Now, Mr Singh and Mrs Abernethy will be supervising and reporting back on any nonsense, okay? Harley Taylor. Yep. Casey Barry. Yeah. Richard Barnes. Yeah. Sandra King. OK, so let them have your normal phone. Smuggle this one in. For Roger what? Brown. Yeah. Holly, film as much Louis as you Parker. can. Parker. OK, we need to see where they keep the animals, how they treat them, and then Julia you can Paris. post it online after the tour. And I've already sent the link. Yeah. Rebecca Walker. Are you sure about this? Of course. Theresa Johnson. Are you not? Bonnie Perry. Yeah, oh, yeah. good. Nicole Flores. Harry, don't let me down. Please. OK? Ah, nice of you to join us. Right, now we can all get on the minibus. Quietly, please. I know about the council. Lorraine told me, well, shouted it at me. It's immaterial now. Lorraine won't budge. The deal's off. She wants things her own way. So she's still going to charge fees? Well, she's digging her own grave. Just wish there was a way to make her see some sense. Well, I can help you with that over lunch. Be nice to get out for a bit. Lorraine's stubborn. I'm not sure you'll be able to make her change her mind. No, maybe I won't. Perhaps someone else will. In war, people get hurt. The butchers at Knox, they need to pay 
for hurting the innocent. Mr. Clarkson tells me this passion for animal welfare has come about very quickly. Has anyone influenced you? A friend, a family member, a teacher? I can read, you know. The internet. I had enough. It was time to act. Coffee. Thanks. Got anything stronger? Do you know, it feels like you're the only one fighting my corner here. I owe you. I support you, Lorraine, but I'm not against Michael. What? He won't be on my back. He had no right to do that. Have you ever considered the possibility that you're both as bad as each other? No. In my position, you have to know you're right all the time. Michael? He said I might lose my job if I didn't help him. You've lost me. Follow me. What's going on? Nikki, Sonia, could you leave us to it, please? What, what is this? Just look at the picture, Lorraine. This is the newspaper report from the day that we opened the school. Breathing new life into a dying community. Yeah. And? We did that. You and me. Council were going to knock this building down. Local kids were being bussed out miles to the new Havelock. Yeah, I don't see how any of this is relevant. Tarek Siddiqui. A lost kid that we turned around. His parents could never have afforded to pay for his education. Jody Allen, now in her first term at teacher training. But look at the slogan, Lorraine, from the estate to the campus. We did that for her. Kevin Chalk, well, up to now, he spent most of his life inside the care system, yet, He's the brightest kid I've ever had the honour of teaching. Liberty Gordon, Jade Fleming, Phoenix Taylor, the list goes on and on. All kids whose parents have no money that Waterloo Road sent on to better things. Michael. <sighs> Cut the schmaltz. You stabbed me in the back and I was supposed to thank you for it. Lorraine Donegan, aged 15. She couldn't have paid for her education. Let our kids keep their school. Tell me a bit more about your family and the pastor. You told her. I had to. You had no right. Lula, please. Mr. Clarkson briefed me. It's nothing untoward. It was in the past, OK? That's not really what I'm getting at. Sometimes we bury things from our past, things we want to forget. I shouldn't have sent those letters. I know I was wrong. So you understand that actions have consequences? Yes. I behaved badly and I wasn't allowed to go on the trip with other pupils. Lula, will you meet us halfway and help us find a way forward? Yes, that would be good. So, we'll set up some more sessions and take things one step at a time. Sounds like a plan. OK, you can go to class. Thank you.
I'll see you now. Your time too. Right. I want to send a letter out to all parents. Then I want you to call an urgent staff meeting. Why? What are you going to do? That is none of your business. And I don't appreciate you giving that article to Michael. Oh, I never. He had it already. Lorraine, I think you should listen to Michael about the council. Please don't be pig-headed. Who said I was being pig-headed? Now, just type, will ya? Right. Dear parent, it is with much thought and consideration I'm announcing today that Waterloo Road... I want them separated. Dennis and Kevin's relationship is absolutely none of the school's business. If you have a problem with who your daughter is seeing, I suggest you take it up with her yourself. At home. Well, that's just it, see. She's not at home. She's shacked up with little Lord Fauntleroy in some flat that one of your teachers gave him. Mrs Barry, Dennis could do a lot worse than Kevin. What are you trying to say about my daughter? This conversation is over. You'll regret this. I doubt it. I'm about to talk to the staff. You coming? Now they're teaching to chunk a little plonker. So not in came at the timetables then? Looks like Mr. Byrne got rid. Never underestimate my mother. There's always a plan B. Everyone, can I have a moment? This won't take long. Michael's convinced me that my fee-paying plan won't work. What are you telling us? So, from tomorrow, this is no longer Waterloo Road, but the Lorraine Donegan Institute of Excellence. What? What are you talking about? Is this a joke? You swayed me, Michael. Kids like Kevin and Tarek, they can't afford a private education, so they're all out. You can't do that. I just did. From next term, there'll be a 100% fee-paying enrolment. Every pupil will get the benefit of my expertise, and when that generation is out there making millions, you can all pay me the respect I'm due. Now, I know some of you won't like my plan, so this afternoon I'll be in the deputy's office. You can either sign up or collect your P45s. Is she for real? Just give me a minute. Blimey, I mean, where'd you learn how to type? Ain't my fault. Someone was leaning over my shoulder and put me off. I'm going out for lunch. When I get back, I'll clear my desk. Can she really change to fee pain just like that? Yeah, so that's good. After us all trailing up here to keep Waterley Road alive, she's killing it. And what about the schoolhouse, the kids? Where are they going to go? Clearly not a priority for Her Majesty. Well, it's obvious what you're going to say to Lorraine. Well, I don't know what I'm going to say to her. I don't want to work in a private school, but trying to find somewhere new. The Lorraine Donegan Institute for Excellence, where profit comes before people. Let's go. Hi. What? Two of them? You're joking. What's wrong? Right, I want them all on that bus and back here immediately. Yeah, I'll be waiting for them. Little cow. What's wrong? Lula Sibby. Her and her gang of little saboteurs have gone way too far this time. Drinking at lunchtime? It's, uh, it's not like you. Oh, there's nothing else for it. Not exactly fating talk. Well, what's the point? I thought I was building something here. Asking all of those teachers to join me in Greenock and for what? It's a disaster. Not just for the school, but for the whole community. I'm handing in my notice. And I'll do it properly this time. You're the best thing in that place. The, the PRU, the exam results, university acceptances. It's all because of you. You should be proud. 
I am. Michael? I meant what I said about moving. Yeah, no, we... <laughs> we can go anywhere. Yeah, but that's just it, Christina. I'm not sure where it is. I want to go. We can decide together. Christine. We're a team, aren't we? We're there for each other. We get on, we have a laugh. Yeah, of course we do. You have been my biggest champion. You know how much I care about you. Don't. Look, this isn't easy, all right? Maybe we've just been there for each other. I am still sober. That's not all because of me, is it? We've both been feeling guilty. You with your drinking and, and me about my father. Maybe it's just been an easy fit. Don't, don't you dare. I know you probably don't want to hear it, Michael, but I love you. There, I said I love you. wound up to hear it. Excuse me. Large glass of white wine, please. Christine. For me. You. Get off me! I know it was you behind things at Knox. I don't know what you're talking about. I poured my heart and soul into this place, and for what? Hmm? For the likes of you to throw it back in my face will no more. This is my school, and I want you out of it. Got it? Oh, and just so you know, I'll be increasing my shares in Knox Pharmaceuticals as of tomorrow. You can't do that! Just you watch me! Did you have it all planned? Lunch in a fancy restaurant, let her down gently. It's not like that. Well, you really shouldn't have bothered. I'm obviously not worth it. Christine, I don't think that's a good idea. <sighs> you were the one who gave me focus. How could you do this to me? I'm sorry. I do. What, love me? Let me guess, you're just not in love with me. I wish I could find the right words. Christine, you're an intelligent, passionate woman, so I'm not going to lie to you. You'd see right through me. In fact, I think you already have. I'm sorry, Christine, but I don't love you. Just trying to be honest. No, 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 no. You've said quite enough already. There's no video. And Miss Donegan, she knows. Sorry, miss. We wanted to talk to Lula. We will never get the chance now. 
How can you be so stupid? I can kill you right now. Stop it. I told them exactly what to do. How can they screw it up? Are you happy now? Leaving the animals to be tortured. Enough. Lula. Uh, is she giving you grief? No, it, it, it's fine. You two, cooler, now. I heard all about your little phone japes at the lab. Move! These animal rights protests are getting out of hand. You do know that Lula saw a counsellor this morning? No. If there's anything wrong, I need to know. Th there's nothing wrong, Ton. Good. Well, wish me luck. I'm off to resign. Have you made up your mind? Well, I haven't a clue what I'm going to do yet. Shouldn't you be in class? Just going, sir. There's a class somewhere bereft of your presence. Make your way to it immediately, please. What? You won't be on my back. You have no right to... You can't tell me what to do. Excuse me, young lady, but I think you'll find that I can, and I just have. Now off you go. What was it? Audrey, take a seat. Thank you. Right, let's get to business. In or out? I'm going to stay. What with Grantley and everything, I need this job. I don't even need to ask, do I? Correct. I just don't know what to say. This is so sorry. Actually, I'm sorry, but I won't be requiring your services next term. It's not complicated. It won't be the same without Michael's leadership. But I suppose Waterloo Road Sorry, the um, <clears throat> Lorraine Donegan Institute of Excellence would be rather handy for Your home economics? Well, it's a gimmick, and the schoolhouse doesn't quite fit in with my plans going forward. And what about the kids who are living there already? Some of them have got nowhere else to so go. I'll take that as a yes, then. Good. No odd feelings, Tom. Feeling isn't mutual. All the best. Seeing people in the deputy's office today. Yes, yes, I know that. Um, it's you I've come to see. I'm going to be staying on here, and uh, a lot of our friends are going to be leaving. I just think it's important that we clear the air and stick together. I'm so sorry, Audrey, for everything. Do you know what's worse than a broken heart? No. Two.
Do you know, we are going to make one hell of a team once we clear out the Deadwood. I won't be a part of it, Lorraine. You haven't got the first idea about teachers, about what makes us tick. Especially not a teacher like Michael Byrne. It's... It's his lifeblood and you're destroying it. His passion, his, his vision. His ego, more like. And the Lorraine Donegan Institute of Excellence isn't about yours. So you'll be one in your P45 then? I just don't get it. Yeah, this school. We're trying to build lives, not put bums on seats. Hang on a minute. Don't save it. Right? You talk about the business of education, but you just... You don't get it. It seems there's no teaching you either. Just take it and go. You'll be leaving with Michael? Well, you've got one half of that right. What? I am leaving, but... Michael... I couldn't care less what he does. Something happened? You were right all along. He's always going to put his beloved job first. You split up. Christine, I'm sorry. Don't pretend you have a heart, Lorraine. Everybody knows you haven't. Time till he gave up on us, but it don't matter, everyone does. to do things that needs to be done. What have I done to you? I have lost control of what I was doing. You're, you're vulnerable. What do you mean? Mr. Clarkson told me about the counsellor. I'm fine. Lula, you need help. I don't care what people think of me, OK? I'm not crazy. Did Lula put you up to this? Running riot at the lab? She did, but we think it's Miss Fairclough telling her to do it. Mr. Clarkson, we need your help. What's happened? It was an accident. I'm fine. I did it. It's... What? Don't listen to her. It's my fault. I, I put her up to this crusade. Uh, I don't understand. The anti-vivisection protests. It's down to me. Her campaign was my campaign. I thought I could control the situation, but everything's gone wrong. You need help, Lula. Mr Clarkson will help you. Won't you, Tom? I'm more concerned with what we're going to do with you. I came to this school with a vendetta against Lorraine and her investments. I shouldn't have involved you, Lula. Sorry. Lula, go to the pastoral care office now, please. But, sir. Go on.
I think we better go to the police, don't you? Whatever you think, I deserve it. Well, Lula is my priority at the moment, but I'll drive you to the station and you can explain everything to them. Am I the bad guy here? You really want me to answer that? This place is putting years on me. Well, I offered you a way to change it. It's what I love about you, Michael. You never give up. No. Not when it comes to protecting the futures of my pupils. Our pupils. Does this mean that... Call Bane. Let's make a deal. Mum. I just wanted to say that if you and Mr. Burner are getting married, it's cool. Like, he's good for you. You're happy and, well, you deserve it. What's wrong? This is Mulgrew. Um, Mr. Burner would like to see you in his office. Now? Thank you for joining us, Christine. Um, is it OK if I call you Christine? Uh, Miss Donegan's changed her mind. Waterloo Road is going to be taken over by the local authority. Now, leaving a school in transition is always difficult. It requires careful handling and the respect of both the pupils and the parents. And the staff. Oh, exactly. I agree. So what? I would like you to be acting head teacher, Christine. Michael is the head here. Well, Michael's stepping down anyway. He's too much of a maverick for our LA tastes. You were Michael's recommendation. Christian? It's, uh, I need some time to think about this. Yeah, of course. Um, go and have a cup of tea and talk Actually, no, I don't need time. You've got the wrong person. Sorry. Michael's treated you abominably, but you'd be a fool not to take this chance. I'm not up to it, Audrey. Oh, yes, you are. What's the alternative? Crying in your cups all day? You step up to the mark. You take this biggest challenge of your life on board. Christine. That makes it okay to treat me like this. Throw me a bone, make me a teacher, and everything will be all right. No, I recommended you because I think you'll be a great leader. You know, I'd never compromise the children's education by recommending a second rater. The job's yours, Christy. Please. Mrs. Collins will be able to see you again tomorrow. Miss Fairclough and I are going to the police station after school. What Miss Fairclough did was wrong, and she knows that. And I think you do too. What's going to happen to her? She's going to get help. But you need to concentrate on your future, Lula. What about the animals? Well, I'm not saying turn your back on the cause. But there are other, less extreme ways of getting your point across. Now, maybe we could organise a class debate. See if we can't convert the non-believers.
Esther? Thanks for staying behind. <sighs> We've all been through the mill over the past few weeks. And the priority now is to restore stability so we can all do what we do best. And that is to learn and to teach. Mr. Byrne and I are leaving the school. <gasps> but Mr. Byrne, you can't leave. You're the best head teacher ever. Oh, don't go, sir. Stay. Oh, please, sir, stay. 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 No, really, thank you. I'm very flattered. But the school is being taken over by the local authority. And I suppose I've got too used to running things to let someone else take control. Now, I'd like to thank Miss Donegan personally. Without her vision, her energy, her tireless commitment, and let's face it, her money, we would not have any school at all. County Hall probably won't, and because I want to, I'm going to keep on funding Mrs. Budgin and the school boarding house. It's with great pleasure I can now tell you that your new acting head will be Mrs. Mulgrew. Did you know? Effective immediately. Don't you think I would have said? I'll be leaving you all soon. Oh, but before I do, I just wanted to say a few words. You've all achieved so much this year. And I know that under Mrs. Mulgrew's leadership, you'll go on and achieve so much more. I'm proud of you. But Waterloo Road isn't about whoever it is that sits in the head's office. No. It's about you guys, in your classrooms, in the PRU, and in the staff room. You're the lifeblood of this place. Pupils and teachers, you're what makes this place tick. I'd like you all to remember that. Mr. Bain here thinks that you could be the best school in the county. But I know that you already are. Thank you. I'm sorry.
Lorraine. Hey. Hi. Did I just do the right thing? Yeah, you always do. Except with us, eh? Ancient history. I'll see you around. Better go. Lula! Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see you. Yeah. It's been great. If you just uh, email me across. Are we okay? I think we will be. Becky's. What now? Babe. Mom, I don't want to hear it. I got us on the Julia Noble show. Called him, told him our story. They want us on. They think Julian can help us sort out this mess. Oh, you've got to be kidding. What, the whole country gets to see what a car crash your mother you are on TV? Win win, I'd say. Right enough. We're in. No way. Come Good. On. Bring it on. Me and you again, Connor. Me, you and this place. Were we a success? Well, we built this place up from nothing. And these kids have a safe place to learn and grow, so yes. I'd say we were a success. What's next for you? Make lots of money. You? Another school. Well, if you ever decide you want a proper job, call me. No, no, Lorraine, there's only ever been one job for me. Running a place like that. Want a lift? No, I'm all right. Bye, Lorraine. Mum, Carol says, my daughter's boyfriend has poisoned her mind. What is your problem with me? I think this school needs strong, clear leadership, and I'm not sure you've got the thick skin required for the job. We've tried every treatment possible, and now we have to discuss taking him off the ventilator. 